hello everyone, I'm just looking back to another video. So guys, today we're going to discuss all the upcoming Marvel games that are coming out in the next couple of years. So, not only including this year, but 2023, 2024, and whenever uh, that brings us to into the future. I'm going to talk about uh, m confirmed and rumored games to be in development at multiple developers, I guess. So, I'm going to talk about, for example, EA and the Skydance New Media uh, Marvel game that is, that is set to be revealed uh, at D23 next month. So, yeah, uh, I think it's going to be some exciting stuff. So, before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below if, uh, if you guys are excited for these games. And if you guys want to see me do like gameplay walkthroughs through these games when they eventually come out. Let's begin with the first game, which is the Skydance New Media Marvel game that's currently in development, which will be uh, written by. Uh, Amy Henning. You might recognize that name from the Uncharted franchise. She, uh, I think, she was one of the lead writers of those games. Um, so it's cool to know that we're, we're getting um, a Marvel game written by Amy Henning. So uh, this game still doesn't have uh, a confirmed release date or a rumored release date, and it's st we still don't know uh, of which team or characters it will be focused on. We know it's not going to be a. Uh, uh, a one player game is going to be an, an ensemble, so it's most likely going to be a, a team game. And there's a, a lot of rumors that this can be a, the first game uh, to have the Fantastic Four as their main characters. So, this might be a Fantastic Four game that which is being made by Scanners New Media, written by Amy Henning. So, um, let's hope that this game uh, is open world. Uh, I think it would be cool to have multiple locations like New York. Uh, maybe like uh, the space station where uh, uh, all the four members of the Fantastic Four uh, get their abilities. I hope the, the game is something like Marvel Spider-Man where you can just do crimes around the city. I prefer it to be that over, um, you know, uh, a Midnight Suns type of game, which is more of a card game. I really don't like those type of games. I want it to be more of a open world RPG. I think that would be ideal for my liking, I guess. So, yeah, um, this might be a Fantastic Four game, uh, we still don't know about it, so uh, let's wait till September 9th, and then I will be here making a video or a live stream of the breakdown of whatever comes up, the trailer, uh, the game announcement. So, now let's get into the second game, which is a rumored Ubisoft Blade game. So, uh, these news were, like, really just, like, unknown. Um, so, these rumors just began when... Uh, when uh, this uh, mocap guy, Alex Martin, on his, on his Instagram, started to post a lot of pictures of him making a game for Ubisoft. Uh, we were all, like, confused because we didn't know what, which game it was. At first, I thought it was uh, Star Wars, the, the Ubisoft Star Wars game, or maybe Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, but it isn't, it's not any of those. Um, we know that because in one of these pictures, he, he shows one of those car things to, you know, begin filming a scene or anyone, um, which was written Marvel on it, so it's a, a Marvel game. So, uh, maybe it could be the Fantastic Four game, but now we know it's Ubisoft, not Skydance New Media. But then he's, he posted a picture of him with another guy, and they were both holding, uh, let's say, blades, for the fun of it. So, yeah, this might be a blade game. Um, um, not like a um, Midnight Suns type of Blade, but, you know, Blade actually getting his own solo game, which I think would be awesome, uh, considering all the movements and stuff. I think it would be uh, cool in the story, a, conf a, conf a conflict of Blade trying to be a vampire hunter or a normal person. Uh, but yeah, I think a Blade game would, would, would be very cool. Hey guys, I forgot to mention, but in one of the photos that... Uh, the, the Alex Martin uploaded to his Instagram about the Blade game on that thing that uh, said Marvel on it. Uh, one, the director is B. Tariq, which is also uh, which is an abbreviation for the, the name of the director of the Blade movie, Bassam Tariq. So, that is another indication that this is probably a Blade game, but we'll see. And the next news uh, or game is Spider Man 2. So this game was already announced last year during the PlayStation Showcase, um, but um, apparently multiplayer was leaked in the 
from the game files for the Marvel Spider-Man remastered on PC, which just came out a couple weeks ago. So, uh, someone went through the files and found that uh, Spider-Man 2 multiplayer. So, there are rumors saying that, that that multiplayer thing might be completely scrapped by Insomniac, but uh, we never know. Maybe, maybe it is a multiplayer, maybe it isn't, who knows. Because we will have two, pl two characters playing the game, uh, Peter and Miles. Uh, I'm, I, w I think this game will be single player, like the first Spider-Man and Miles Morales, where in certain story sections you can play with other characters. Like, in, mostly in the first Spider-Man, uh, mostly you play with Peter, but you could also play uh, in some mission with Miles and MJ. So, um, I think this game will be something like that, not a multiplayer game. But we'll see. Next game is Marvel's Wolverine, which is also announced uh, with Spider-Man 2 on a PlayStation Showcase like 10 months ago, I'm going to say. So yeah, uh, this game was announced to be in early, in early development, so you might not be seeing this game very soon. Um, as far as I can say, I think 2024-2025 is a, you know ideal release date for the game. I don't see it coming out either next year or 2004. If we, even if it comes out in 2024, I think it will be more of a holiday release for the game. So I'm not expecting to see this game for a while. I can see them making like updates and announcements about the game, but I don't see them uh, releasing the game soon. So now let's get on to the final two games, which are actually both coming from EA. The first rumor is that EA is making a single player Black, Man, Black Panther game, which is being led by former monolith boss Kevin Stevens. So, um, this game is not going to be a T'Challa focused game, uh, this game will be um, something like DC Universe Online where you just have to create your own character and throughout the story you need to, um, no, become the Black Panther, um, so I think that's, I don't really like that pitch, I would prefer it to, for this to be a Black Panther and no T'Challa focused game. Um, so I'm, I don't like this, uh, let's see how this game turns out though, I really don't like the idea of someone else, like we, re we create an, our own character to become the Black Panther, I think that's way too cliche, I think, so yeah, let's see how this game works, I hope it has some of the mechanics from Marvel's Avengers, but yeah, let's see how this works. So, uh, there's a rumor that EA might be making a full-on single-player Iron Man game, so, um, this game is mostly rumored, so since it's rumored, it's not going to uh, see the light of day anytime soon, something like the Black Panther game, since it's only in rumors and not really in development, so it's probably going to come out around 2026, 2027 maybe. Uh, so if this game, if the Black Panther game isn't even in development, I really can't see Iron Man coming out anytime before or somewhere around that time, 2026, so I don't know. This game is not seen a lot of day for, in a, for a couple of years, let's say that. So thank you guys for watching my video, hope you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment below if you guys enjoyed the video, and for which game are you guys most excited about? So I'm Darnil, peace out, take care.